the appearance of the third generation Mitsubishi Pajero made a lot of noise. Off-road fans spoke with disappointment about the end of the era of real Pajeros. After all, the newcomer was fundamentally different from its predecessors with the classic off-road design. Its body lost its powerful spar frame, becoming, like the SUV, the carrier, and the running, a continuous bridge and torsion bars, instead of which a two-lever design was used in front, and a multi-link in the back. Due to the lack of a frame, the center of gravity of the car was lowered, which, together with an independent suspension, had a positive effect on its stability, and driving performance became closer to cars. The list of internal equipment has also been significantly expanded, Pajero has options inherent in business class models. All this was done in order to increase the comfort of the car and invade the premium SUV segment. For uncompromising off-road fans, Mitsubishi marketers left the Pajero Classic and Pajero Sport models, designed strictly according to the canons of classic SUVs. Engine. The range of Pajero 3 modifications was reduced, the creators refused to release a convertible, leaving only three and five-door station wagons. Among the five doors, there are often gray versions designed for the countries of the Middle East. Arabs were cheaper than Europeans, so many domestic motorists bought them in order to save money. The lower price of the Arab versions of the Pajero 3 was facilitated by the fact that they were equipped with older and simpler units, 3.0-liter gasoline engine and four-speed automatic transmission, and there was no rear stove in the equipment. Instead, there was air conditioning, heated seats, mirrors, and front wipers. The corrosion resistance of the body and the workmanship of these machines are not inferior to the officials. The disadvantages of Pajero are the delamination, appearance of a grid, of the plastic cap of the front optics for cars made in 2003, corrosion on the internal mudguards in the engine compartment of cars made in 2002 to 2003, as well as corrosion and loss of tightness of the tubes of the interior air conditioning system located under the rear right wheel arch, which causes the climate to fail. Officially, we sold versions with two units, a 3.5-liter gasoline V6 and a 3.2-liter turbo diesel, and Arabs with a 3.0-liter gasoline V6. Gasolines are distinguished by a fair fuel appetite, from 16 to 19.5 liters per 100 kilometers in the urban cycle. The most trouble-free is the 3.0-liter engine, which was used on the previous generation Pajero, as well as on the Pajero Sport. Its weaknesses are the breakdown of high-voltage wires of spark plugs and the loss of tightness of the rear camshaft plugs, one for each row of cylinders. The 3.5-liter unit is equipped with a proprietary GDI power system with direct fuel injection into the cylinders. Its fuel pump is very demanding on the purity of gasoline, mechanical inclusions quickly disable the engine, and the pump does not create working pressure 50 ATM. As a result, the motor does not develop full power. To protect an expensive pump, new original spare part, UAH 10500, from premature wear, it is recommended to additionally install a fine fuel filter between the booster and main pumps. But the fuel injectors serve, as a rule, without problems. GDI is also distinguished by short-lived hydraulic lifters, which can become unusable as early as 60,000 kilometers. To extend their service life, mechanics are advised not to fill in 0W40 oil, but to use a lubricant with a higher low temperature viscosity. In addition, when using the above oil, its increased consumption is noted. The timing of both gasoline engines is driven by a belt, which must be changed along with the rollers and the hydraulic tensioner every 80,000 kilometers. The service life of the attachment drive belt is the same. Problems with fuel pumps were also noted in the 3.2 liter turbo diesel unit. The fuel injection timing control sensor rod fails in them and a malfunction manifests itself with increased opacity at idle and loss of power. If earlier, because of this, the pumps had to be changed, now they can be repaired at branded service stations by ordering a failed rod. However, the loss of power can be caused by another problem, contamination of the intake manifold. When using low-quality fuel, the exhaust gas recirculation EGR, system drove unburned diesel fuel into the manifold along with the exhaust gases. Motorists advise checking the cleanliness of the collector every 40,000 kilometers. The timing in a turbo diesel is driven by a chain that lasts about 180,000 kilometers. The hydraulic tensioner on cars manufactured before 2005 had an unsuccessful design and lost its properties during operation. Due to the weakening of the chain tension, its dampers also became unusable. 
mechanics advise with a run of 80 to 90,000 kilometers to check the condition of the above parts and, if necessary, replace them. Every 50,000 kilometers, you need to adjust the fuel injectors. If they start to overflow, the pistons can burn out. And the resource of sprayers is about 120,000 kilometers. Every 160,000 kilometers, it is necessary to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. Despite the lack of a frame, Pajero bodies turned out to be quite rigid and resistant to increased loads. Weaknesses of the car Air conditioning pipes located under the rear right wheel arch will rust and leak over time. In the electric brake booster of 2002 to 2004 cars, failure of the accumulator was noted. The 3.5L V6 GDI petrol engine and the 3.2L turbo diesel have fuel pump problems. If the operating modes of the Rizdaka do not change, it means that the sensors of the switching mechanism are out of order. Transmission. Most Pajeros were equipped with automatic gearboxes. Five-speed mechanics is rare and only on gray versions. The clutch used a dual-mass flywheel. On copies of 2002, he was short-lived. The official versions were equipped with a modern Tiptronic Invex 2 automatic transmission with the ability to manually control gear shifting in an adaptive control program that can adapt to the driver's driving style and, depending on this, change the gear shift mode. But the Arabs were aggregated by a simpler four-speed automatic transmission from Pajero 2. In principle, both units are quite reliable. Is it only on cars of the first years of production, 2000 to 2001, that failures of radiators were noted? in which the coolant entered the automatic transmission oil cooling system. The transfer case also creates problems, the sensors of the switching mechanism work sour in it. On machines manufactured before 2004, there were leaks in the oil seals of the rear gear axle shafts. Changing the oil filter in the machine every 80,000 kilometers is only necessary according to the car body number. Outwardly it is very similar to a similar part from Pajero Sport, however, Installing an inappropriate filter leads to the failure of the machine. Every 40,000 kilometers, the transmission needs expensive maintenance. It is necessary to change the lubricant in the automatic and manual gearboxes, the transfer case, front and rear axle gearboxes. Pajero is equipped with a proprietary Super Select 4WD transmission, which, thanks to the presence of a center differential, allows you to constantly move in all-wheel drive. In normal mode, the torque is distributed in the ratio of 37% to the front wheels and 63% to the rear. The car is characterized by high cross-country ability, especially with the appropriate toothed tires. Contributes to overcoming off-road and large suspension travel. A 3.2-liter diesel engine saves on fuel consumption, but at the same time it is more expensive to maintain. Due to the lack of a frame, independent suspensions, and rack and pinion steering, Pajero differs significantly from its predecessor and some of its classmates in terms of driving performance. It is easier and more pleasant to drive, it does not react so harshly to road bumps, rolls less in corners and steers more accurately. Suspension The weak point of the Pajero front suspension is wheel bearings. Native parts may become unusable after 50,000 kilometers, but after replacement, new bearings serve well. The eccentric bolts for adjusting the camber slash toe of the rear wheels are also problematic, over time they tightly boil. Otherwise, there are no complaints about the running, the stabilizer bushings and ball bearings can last about 100,000 km, the silent blocks of the front levers, 200,000 km, the silent blocks of the rear levers, 150,000 km. Many consumables are changed separately. Steering The steering rack is reliable even the tie rod ends take care of about 100,000 kilometers. In cars 2002 to 2004 the failure of the hydraulic accumulator of the electric brake booster was noted. They are replaced by official dealers free of charge. There are several modes in the transmission, rear wheel drive, full, with a blocked central, diff, with a reduced one. There is also a lockable rear diff, 